Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to install WHMCS onto your account. If you purchase our corporate um, reseller package at NameHero, you know it comes with a free WHMCS license and we make it very easy to install right from inside of our interface here. So I'm going to show you the quick steps how to do this so you can get on running your web hosting business. So the first thing you want to do is navigate to your hosting package. So right now I'm in our client area of Name Hero, and you get to this by clicking on the right side here and just logging in. Once you're logged in, this is what it looks like. Next, we need to navigate to our hosting package. So we're going to click on Cloud Web Hosting. We're going to, I've got a couple of different ones here because it's my demo account. So I'm going to click on the Corporate Hero. Okay, and next I need to get the license key for WHMCS. So I'm going to click on Add-ons and I'm gonna see it's right here. Right here is my license key. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this right here. Now I'm just gonna go back. Whoops, went back one too far. And I'm gonna log into my cPanel for my um, reseller hosting domain. My domain's resellerhostingus.com, by the way. Okay, so for this example, I want to install WHMCS on a subdomain, meaning I want people to go to billing.resellerhostingus.com. That's where my WHMCS is going to live. So the first thing I have to do is create the subdomain. So I'm just going to type in subdomain, click it, and I'm going to create it called billing. You can leave everything else default. Click create and success it's been created. After I do that I'll just go back I'll click on the main page of um, cPanel and now I want to scroll down here to the bottom and I'm looking for WHMCS and if you scroll over here see it right here so you said scroll over a little bit this is our one-click app installer so right here is WHMCS um, I've got videos and, and stuff on our blog about WHMCS. If you don't know much about it, you can go there and look, or you can read through here. There's screenshots. I think there's a link to a demo. That might be kind of old. I know this screenshot is really old right here. Um, but it's going to be the new version that installs, I promise. Okay, so to get this installed, you're just going to click on Install Now. Um, next, we have to choose our protocol. Um, I like to use HTTPS at Name Hero. Um, all of our sites come with a free and automatic SSL certificate. Now it's important to note, it, when I selected this, it says trusted SSL certificate's not found. That's a bug because it is found, I promise, it's on there. Um, so you can ignore this. And um, we're working with Soft Lucius to get that fixed, but we, they haven't issued a fix yet. So it is what it is, but it, it will work. Next, we have to choose our domain. We're gonna choose our um, subdomain here, billing that we just created. That's what we're gonna use. Um, next, what directory do you want to put it in? Well, when the person or visitor or customer goes to billing.resellerhostingus.com, we want them to see WHMCS. So because of that, we're going to install it in the root directory and leave that blank. In the data directory, we're going to leave this default. The cron job um, stuff, we're not going to mess with that. Company name, if you know your company name, if you don't know it yet, you don't have to worry about it, but um, I'll just enter reseller hosting US. Um, this is your admin folder. You want to make this a little bit hard to guess. You don't want it to call it admin. You want to call it something different. So I'm just going to call it resell1, resell21. So just something that's not admin, you know, something that's different because of course you're going to have your username and password, but make it something that's just not admin. Um, then you want to use your email address. I'll just type in Ryan namehero.com. This is where you put your license key. Now remember, I'm going to copy mine, or paste mine. Remember, we copied this from the Name Hero client area under add-ons right here. If you don't see this here, then reach out to us and we'll let you know. We also emailed this to you when you signed up with us. If you need to read your emails, you can click under here and click email history and you'll find it in there. Uh, but that's where it is. Now we'll go down here and we need to create an admin username and password. You want to generate a secure password using this. And I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy this over to another window so I don't lose it. And you want your username hard to guess, too. Please don't use admin. I'm going to use rgray. rgray1, even. And make it, you know, make this stuff hard to guess. You don't want... The first thing someone's going to do if they try to get into your install, they're going to use admin and pass. And they're going to use admin, password123, and so forth and so on. You don't want someone in your WHMCS. So make sure you don't do that. Okay, next, your admin email. I'm just going to use admin at billing.resellerhostingus.com for this example. This is what um, the admin email is going to be coming from. 
I'm just going to use system administrator. Okay, so now you can select your language. I speak English, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, you can email the install details if you have a programmer, a business partner, or even yourself, just so you know where you install everything. For the heck of it, let's just install it to myself, or send it to myself so I know. Now we click install. And this is so much easier, by the way, than trying to do this manually. If you had to do this manually, you'd be sitting here all day. Or not all day, but a good portion of it. Okay, so that was easy. Now it has been installed. And of course, something went wrong. Um, well, we just installed it, so it might take it just a little bit to propagate and stuff, but we can get to our admin area here. Um, and this is the back end of it. This is where we are gonna set up and configure everything inside of WHMCS. Um, now, when customers go to this, once this all propagates, the subdomain, here it goes, just took a second. Um, once it, um, well, it is propagated. But anyways, now you can see when people go to billing.resellerhostingus.com, they're going to see my storefront. Now, if you want, you can make this your main um, interface. You can make this your, on your main domain. What I plan on doing, I want to use WordPress for the front end of my site, meaning that I'm going to use a WordPress template to display the hosting packages and all that. And I'm going to use this billing end just to handle the billing and customer portal and all that stuff. So I don't want this to be the main page of my site. You might, and that's completely appropriate. If so, just don't install it in a subdomain. Uh, but as you can see, our SSL certificate is working. Um, it's all in good working order, and we're ready to go. And you're ready to start um, using it. You know, customers can now come here and buy a domain. They can buy hosting from us. They can make a payment or even get support. The ticket desk and everything is inside of here. Um, so I'm going to do other video tutorials to kind of walk you through the configuration aspect of it and all that fun stuff. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, and then we'll also go through this back end, you know, how to get in and, and what you need to do as soon as you install it. So if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you search and just go to the next one that makes sense. Um, this is also going to be part of my reseller hosting 101 course. It's going to be on the blog. So namehero.com slash startup and just look for the links for resell reseller hosting 101 and that's going to get you to this course to walk you through the reseller becoming a reseller web host um, step by step so regardless of experience level you'll be able to find that information there so if you have any questions let me know or let us know uh, this is how you install whmcs though it took what two three minutes once we just entered that information so much easier uh, thanks a bunch everyone for watching